Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make this little book with a hidden room inside. I designed this in Fusion 360 and you will be able to find the link for it in the info box below. I went online and found a few book covers that I made a template for and I'm going to use this one for this little book. Uh, you will find the link for both things in the info box below. I decided to paint this little book in a dark grey color and then I am just uh, painting the front and the back cover here. Uh, remember the edges. I am painting the end piece of the book and I think that's it. But uh, you can see here what I did paint. You don't need to paint the inside of the other book side here. Um, but um, you need to make at least a little uh, edge on there so that the white don't show when the book is uh, completely made. I left it to dry so I was sure that it was all dry and now I am going to glue on the side here of the book so I have the front and the back cover on the book together making kind of a little uh, draw piece out of this one so I'm just placing it here and I'm actually turning this one the wrong way around and I noticed in time so I'm just wiping down the glue and turning it the right way around and placing it again and I'm taking one of my small clamps just to make sure that everything stays in place while it is drying then I am going to take the bookshelf uh, the inside of the book and I'm gluing that one to the back of the book And then I am cutting out these pieces for the front and the back of the book and uh, the spine as well. I wanted to put this little chair in there and I found out that the one with the divider in is not so good. So I am using the one without the dividers in there. I just made that on the side. Uh, you will find both of these uh, insides uh, draw pieces in the download link for the 3D print file, so no worry. Um, and I'm just making sure that it fits in uh, the little book. It really went a little too um, difficult in there, so I sanded the top and the bottom of them a bit. I'm using my decoupage glue for uh, gluing the front the back and the spine in place. Make sure you uh, turn this little book piece or little uh, piece for the little draw. Make sure it is turned the right way around when you glue the front and the back on. Um, I had an accident with one of my books and I had to peel it off and uh, glue another one on there later and that was kind of a mess to do. So just make sure it is turned the right way around when you glue these on. And I'm putting a tiny bit of the Mod Podge, no, not Mod Podge, but you can use Mod Podge. But I'm putting a tiny bit of the decoupage glue on top of this one. Um, and I got a little in to the inside where the drawer is going and we don't want that. So I was cleaning that out. Then I am putting on the back side and the spine.
I glued this uh, one piece here on a little crooked so I am just cutting off the excess. I think it's best to wait until the glue is all dry to do this. Uh, you can tear the paper when it's wet so uh, please do be careful if you do this but it's possible. I found this little print file for this little lady online that was on cult 3 d Com. I am going to paint the details on this little lady but I'm going to jump over that part because uh, you might want to put something else into your little books. Here she is all done uh, very nicely. I like her. Sadly I couldn't find the link for this little lady. Uh, there is a few figures in this size. Um, so if you know who made it, please tell me. I had a piece of red veneer and I am going to use that to cut out a little piece for the floor. Uh, and I had this little piece that had the right length for the flooring. So I'm just using that to cut off a piece here. Um, and I'm just going to measure how deep it is and then cut it so that it fits into the little room. Now for painting the room itself I am going to use this purple color um, and sadly I went a bit off camera with this painting. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but first I am coloring the back here with the purple. Everything is going to be purple. Um, I actually think I made the ceiling purple as well um, and the sides here on both sides and then I am taking a bit of a black color and putting that on the edge of the sides kind of blending it into the purple and I'm really sorry you can't see that as well here um, I hope I will show you a tiny bit better in a second. I think I did. Yeah. So you can see that I put in the black here. And I'm doing the sides so that the sides are more black uh, than the middle. Um, and then I'm just putting in some white to brighten up the middle of the uh, scenery here. But you can paint this just like you feel like. It's all up to you. I left this to dry and then I took my X-Acto knife and scratched off any paint that I got on the edges here around the little book because uh, I don't want those on there. Uh, I did the same on the paper sides of the cover just scratching off if I got a bit too much paint on there. I'm using my Fimo um, glaze here for glazing the little floor that we made. When that is all dry, I am taking my wood glue and I'm just gluing the floor in place using quite a lot of glue to make sure that it will stay in place and I'm going to clamp it as well. Let that dry completely before you continue. As it is all dry now, I am going to uh, use my super glue gel to glue in the little chair and the little lady in the room. Make sure that nothing is poking out uh, from the sides of the book so that it's all flash and you can uh, put it into the cover without anything hitting uh, the cover. It's very important. So I placed the chair and now I am going to place the little lady.
Here is my final book with a hidden compartment in there. I call these hidden rooms. Oh, and it is really, really cute on the outside here. And then you open it to reveal a little 3D scenery in the book. I had a lot of fun with this and I made several books uh, with different themes and different ideas in there. But you can do these just like you want to. Maybe you have another idea, a, another way to uh, decorate the insides of these small books. I really, really hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I had a lot of fun with these. So I'm just going to show you here all the books that I made. Um, this little one. I'm especially proud of this little one. I think it's so cute with the two small ships in there. Um, the 3D print file comes with the book with the two rooms in and the book with only one room in there. So happy crafting! <laughs>